happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, Kate. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Dodderbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us with the updated Prunus J125. This is a digital AM FM stereo portable radio. You can find this retailing on Amazon for $19.99. There's always a coupon. Watch for that. Mine had a 40% off coupon. That's a huge deal, bringing the price down to 12 bucks. Rock on. For 12 bucks, it's a no-brainer. I picked it up. Here it is. I'll have links below. If it's still 12 bucks, get yourself one. If it's 13, 14 bucks, still get yourself one. If it's over 15, think about it. <laughs> but let's check out the box. It comes in a simple, kind of a flat style box. Pretty big box for a thin radio. Um, there's our website. Uh, upside down again. Um, I think they pride themselves number one in radio sales brand on Amazon Worldwide 2021. Sweet. On the back of this box has some contact information. Done. Okay. In the box, I took everything out to make it easy. We get a tray of goodies. We get the radio. We get headphones and a lanyard. Nice. And illustrated manual. I like this. Illustrations. I've, you just don't see that in a $12 radio. I'm pretty impressed by the manual. So let's go over what's in the tray. We get a pair of headphones. Gold-plated connector. Um, we got rubber caps. So not too bad. Um, I used them. They're all right. Uh, here we got this like a Kevlar-style braided rubber-coated... Um, so yeah, it's, it's all right. It looks like it'll last a little while. There you go. Good backup headset. I always like having my own pair, but uh, those are always nice to have just in case. Here we have a neck lanyard. Yes, not a wrist strap, a neck lanyard. So if you're partying, you're at a sports game, rocking out, you know, voting for your favorite team. Oh, yeah. Or you're an old guy and you got to use a cane and you need to be hands-free. You can wear it around your neck. Loving it. All right. Uh, radio, take it out of the tray here. Nice. And we'll go over the features, the updated features. They did a few things on it. Front and center, star of the show, the Prunus. All right. Let's go over the manual. I like to do this for posterity in case you lose yours. Or I forget to say something. It's right here. You can just freeze frame it in the video. You don't have to look for a PDF online. It's all right here. Because sometimes those PDFs disappear. Uh, hopefully this video won't. <laughs> It says, thank you for purchasing Prunus J125. All right. So read it carefully. We will. <laughs> so there's all your information, what the radio can do, all the buttons. It does quite a bit. Nice. Let's go next. We have product specification. Okay, cool. Powered by two AAA batteries. Nice. Bring it down here. Full screen. So yeah, it's got, uh, you can manually store stations, it has incremental tuning, browse tuning. Yeah, those features I really like in a radio, especially inexpensive. Now look at these pictures. Don't know if it needs a picture for everything, but uh, now we're on page, did I miss the page? I think it might have, no I didn't. Okay, that's page five, page six. Okay, it's showing you how to set the stations manually. Nice. How to get better reception. Okay, human inductance. If you're holding it, you will get better reception. If you're holding the antenna, you get better reception than I noticed. Okay, we have a clock, which is nice, 12 or 24 hour. That's a really sweet thing. And then it has an alarm clock feature, which you can wake up to FM radio or buzzer. Yeah, very handy. And my last page here, um, more features. Okay, lock key so you can lock the radio out. Very handy when you're carrying it in your pocket. And it has a sleep timer, another handy feature on a radio that's running on smaller batteries. It's good to have a sleep timer function. It goes all the way down to five minutes. Nice. I think it starts out at 90. So there you go. And some FAQs. Why is AM not good? I don't know. I just don't think it's implemented well in this radio. I'll tell you about it in a little bit. And the back here, we have after sales service. We have a US QR code. Don't know if your screen can pick that up or not. Canada. Oh, Canada. <laughs> and UK. All right. And then there's her email and phone number. Oh, well, I got American local. All right, cool. So there goes that. Let's go look at the radio. Front and center. I'm going to zoom on down. 
There we go. Let's go over dimensions of the radio. Um, I think I believe it's the same as the older version, uh, just a little longer because of the whip antenna. So if a width of two and three eighths of an inch, we have a height of four and a quarter inches, the quarter inch coming from that little bit of antenna sticking up. And then we have a thickness of five eighths of an inch. So just a very thin radio. Really cool for the pocket. I like it. Uh, its main claim to fame before was FM stereo, and it pretty much still is. So liking that. Um, let's go ahead and do a size comparison. I always have my features here. We got the CC Pocket. Okay, so CC Pocket's bigger. Um, definitely thicker radio. Um, it's a better radio on AM, of course. <laughs> but uh, this is 65 bucks versus 12 So, And they can read the clock better. <laughs> Look how fuzzy that is. What's up, Pocket? They've always had that. Word have always been faint. Uh, you just have to get used to that. Okay, and then we have... CC Skywave, same thing with the LCD display. That's hilarious, isn't it? I don't, does that get sharp? Yeah, there you go. Certain angle on that one. But there you go, CC Skywave in the house, giving you the idea that this is definitely a thin compact companion. Uh, speaker quality is about the same. It's a tiny little speaker, but you know, it's thin, so you're not going to get some bassy thing. And last but not least, we have a deck of cards if you don't have those radios. Uh, standard playing cards. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He loves Prunus radios made in China land. Sing it with me, man. He loves radios from China land. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> or whatever kind of music you want to add to it. All right, there you are. So the Prunus J125. Let's go over features. There's a few of them. Uh, a few, like I said, try to hit on the updates. Uh, Left-hand side, we have the volume control up and down. We have a lock button, and it also acts as the FM stereo button. So if you you can actually turn it to FM mono uh, and eliminate the uh, stereo if you're trying to go long distance on a faint station, it actually is helpful to be able to do that. So just press and hold, and it should lock the radio. There's your key symbol. Nice amber display. So at night you can tap it and see what's going on with the clock. That's nice. So press and hold, unlock that when I have that. Um, so I really like this. Now, it's interesting. This radio has a clock, and so when you're playing the radio, it defaults to the clock, which is kind of a bummer. If Prunus is watching this, Prunus, if you could always show frequency, that's most radio guys like, um, and then have a button where you just press, like, clock, like have a clock button, and it just shows the clock. Maybe the lock button does it or something. I don't know. Uh, just so it shows the clock, and then it goes back to frequency. That'd be nice. I would like that. I think most people would. Going to the clock, though, if that happens on FM, just tap the FM stereo key here, and it takes you back to the frequency and engages a stereo mode. But at least you can go back to the frequency. AM, it's a little trickier. I think you got to go up or down tuning or a preset key. I forget which one you do. I think I think I hit preset here, and you got to wait for it to stop flashing <laughs> before you can do anything. But we'll, we'll demonstrate it. Uh, so going over the buttons on the front, um, we have the AM FM band key. That's pretty basic. Um, that's what it does. With no extra features there. As you notice, it does have a cool LCD display. As I showed, it was um, I think one of these keys makes it light up. There we go. Amber lit, which is nice. Uh, so we got the preset button, which is nice. You get 30 presets on the AM band and 30 presets on the FM band. And of course, it sets your clock to 12 or 24 hour. And of course, it lets you set your alarm time. Uh, and when the radio is on, press and hold does auto scan and save. Uh, 30 presets in AM and then 30 presets in FM. If you want to manually add, you quick press, and I believe you adjust here or here. One of these two. I'll try to show that in the video. Should be pretty basic. Um, I can't remember, but here's the browsing, the presets, memory up, memory down. And if you press and hold, I believe, memory down, that takes you to a menu when the radio's on to change from 9 kilohertz to 10 kilohertz. But when you do that, you lose all your memories on the medium wave band or AM band. Just remember that. So if you change it, so the radio's on, press and hold the M minus key will let you change from 9 kilohertz to 10 kilohertz. Um, nice to have. Okay, incremental tuning. I like having that. Beautiful thing. Thank God they have that. Some radios don't. Uh, and then press and hold uh, for browsing. Press hold release. It'll browse the next station. Uh, nothing on the right-hand side. Here are speakers. Pretty small. Um, I measured about an inch and a half. It's probably what it is. It's, it's dink. <laughs> uh, top of the radio. We have the power button, as also as our sleep function. If you notice, we're missing a DC input. I believe the J25, the original, had a DC input. 
uh, and it would charge the batteries when the radio was off. I couldn't remember that. I'm just trying to remember. I think it did. Uh, here we have the neck lanyard. Uh, it's centered on the radio. It's pretty cool. See that right there for the neck? Yeah, baby. Check out my radio. I'm that, uh, what's that black guy's name? Right, oh, ran around with a clock on his neck. God, I can't think of his name. Whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> the antenna. Watch out. Watch out. It fits on screen. <laughs> Six and three-eighths of an inch. I I would hope Prunus would go at least 12 inches on the uh, antenna. But yeah, yeah I never push from the top there. But go from the bottom up to the top. There we go. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that, that didn't help. But it still did pretty well. I'm pretty impressed with the FM reception. Back here gives you information. Um, of course, uh, oh yeah, I mentioned, I mentioned the headphone jack, which we will. There's our band coverage. Boom. Vented case. Uh, so yeah, top here, the headphone experience. Now it says stereo, which is great. So we're going to talk about the headphone experience real quick. Headphone, headphone experience, uh, FM. I noticed it was nice mids. Uh, mild lows, not much in the low department, but nice mids and strong highs. I'm a fan of that. And I think you will be too, especially when it's on FM stereo. FM stereo sounds excellent. I just love how it sounds on stereo, and you will too. As long as you live in an urban environment where this little antenna makes sense. When you plug the headphones in, it doesn't disengage this antenna. It still uses this antenna. So you have to have this raised even if you have headphones engaged, which I found interesting. You would think the wire of the antenna for the headphones would be better than this, but they opted to keep this live instead of changing it over. But here nor there. Maybe they'll change it in the future. You never know. Uh, an AM band, it's also really pleasant listening to. Um, neutral tone, and it sounds good for your sports and talk radio. Nice. And the back here, we'll just quickly open this. We have two AAA batteries. Uh, one battery to the left there. Top battery is positive to the left. Bottom battery, positive to the right. Again, simple two AAA batteries. This battery door, I wish it was captured. That'd be nice too, but it is a thin radio, so I can see why they didn't do that. Okay, there we are. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about FM reception report, then we'll turn it on. So FM reception report, I would like to go over this because I can't really do too much of an FM band scan, but we will today to hear what we can hear. But uh, I base it on fair, okay, good, very good, excellent. Uh, okay to good is average, and that's typically like these big old school radios. Yeah, age of giants, like how big this sucker is compared to that. Even fit on camera. <laughs> uh, this gets about 48 stations in my location, and I give it an average rating. Okay to good. This radio scored a little higher than that, which is fantastic. It found almost 70 stations, 68 to be exact, giving it a good to very good rating, and I believe that was similar to what the other radio did as well, which is pretty surprising since this is a small whip antenna. FM selectivity was good as well. Uh, I was finding and hearing real faint stations with this antenna. Again, if it had a longer antenna, I'd probably have a better score on the FM. So overall, I would say give this about a three and a half star rating on FM. Again, solid FM, FM stereo. That's what this radio is about. Let's go ahead and turn it on. We're going to demo the uh, music. So we're going to go ahead, uh, show you the presets. So you get 30 of them. Now, if you find a station you like, we're just saying it's the static one here. You tap preset. It flashes what preset you want to put it into. Okay, and it's this key here, and you can pick which preset you want to put it in. So we'll put it in 13. Hit preset again, and now it's preset 13. Go to 12, go to 13. There you are. So let's go. I think I have my Radio Totterbird down on 30. Yeah. There it is. Okay, so we'll do a little demo of audio. This little speaker. I'm using a FM transmitter too. Seven six five four three two one. Two, two. You'll never have the sacred stone. Yay. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother. A mute would be nice. <laughs> um, so what we have here um, is the FM transmitter two hooked up to an iPod. Uh, uh, broadcasting royalty for music over 92.9 megahertz to the radio. As you just saw, it defaulted to the clock. So we don't know what frequency we're on, so the best way I found is just tapping the lock button. 
And it brings us back to 92.9. Now if you tap it again, it goes to stereo. Let's see when it goes back to clock, what happens. Should turn this up. Okay, cool. So you can mute it by going all the way down, of course, which is nice. I want to mention that there is a low level hiss on the headphones and that from zero to one is a little bit of a jump. So if you want to go to bed with super quiet audio, you're not going to get it with this radio. It's going to be a little louder than normal. Uh, it's still not uncomfortable. It's just not going to sleep type radio. <laughs> just want to let you know. Unless you put this under your pillow or something like that and use the speaker. Um, so let's go ahead and do a band scan. Yeah. So we're going to pull the antenna out. I'm going to try with just the antenna, but I don't think it's going to do very good. I might hook up a wire. So let's go ahead and turn off the transmitter so it doesn't interfere with our band scan. We'll turn this back up. Should be off. Let's go up on a preset. Okay, there's a station there. Turn this up. ones left I think I human inductance okay so what we're gonna do here I'm gonna go back down my presets here we hook up a wire just just meeting your 
your spouse at the door and hugging them and telling them how much you miss them or sending them that text during the day. Those are all tiny things that make a huge difference. It's a little browse. Is unable to redeem anybody unless he is God a very God. Browsing tonight. Sex marriage and interracial marriages. I'm joined by author and journalist Sasha Eisenberg. And joining the conversation now is Mike Madrid. Jesse Oaks. Where we did Jesse Oaks last week? Five nine. That's uh, WBBM on FM. Auto pay and fifty percent off YouTube TV for a year with a wireless so, max family plan. Even with this wire hooked up, I'm getting stations. It's passing them on the browse, but that's fine. I know there's Earth. Full time radio on one hundred five point nine. Do you have to adjust the volume on some of the stations? Okay, so we're starting at the bottom of the band again, and it should stop here shortly. The face of Jesus Christ. Okay, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and turn this down. We're going to switch to um, AM band. Zoom phone is simple to use. Okay, so we don't need this. Now, the AM band, it uses the internal antenna. Now, we're shooting this during the day, so it is... Uh, 9.41 a.m. Um, the, you'll get this radio is just pretty much good on locals only. Expect that. Uh, don't expect anything distant at all. Um, I just noticed it was good for locals. And I couldn't even get my squirrel. Man, 11.80. So, you know, towards the top of the band, it's pretty much nothing there. So let's go ahead and just give you an idea. Uh, we'll do some browse tuning on this as well. So we'll go ahead and turn this up. That's a long title, and I really wish the frequency would stay there. So here we are, 560, we go to 540, aim it to the north. I think it's WAUK, barely picking it up. If you had headphones on, you could probably hear that. Turning it down so we don't play her. And whether it's fully online or in combination with on-campus classes in their New York City environment, the combination of affordable tuition so 560 to be IND Chicago there's an internal antenna you're right probably a small one um, and it's good for like I say locals let's go ahead and just scan there's a place for you from Atlanta to only murders in the building to the Kardashians and more 
and it's all on Hulu. Check into your obsessions. Hulu subscription required. Terms apply. Visit Hulu.com for details. Molly and Hawk. Man, you guys are awesome. I've been listening to you guys for years. On 670 The Score. Now we're in a transition. So we got WSTR, Chicago. WMFN, Piatone, Illinois. Pretty faint. Barely picking that up. Again, it's meant for locals only. Let's see if we can pick up WTMJ on 620. We can, but it's faint. Alright, let's... Cruise up the band. Right now. Bears are getting training camp underway today. WGN, Chicago, 720. My location is near Chicago. Record for quarterback sacks last season. As reported to Gabby, it skipped the mandatory minicamp in June. The Bears hold their first practice tomorrow. Northbound Tri-State, we still have delays from Richland all the way to the Stevenson, all because of a book having meaningful, sometimes loud little buttons, but they feel good. It's a solid click. Uh, 750, uh, WNDZ. Catholic Radio. To attach to them, because when... You never know what's gonna happen next week or this week even. WBBM Chicago. It's been a tough, tough stuff. A couple of days for me. Baseball's trade deadline a week from today. Contreras likely to move by then. Old time radio shows. 12 a.m. to 1 a.m. Central Daylight Time in the evenings, Monday through Friday. Tune it in. First pitch, 670 the score. The White Sox throw Michael Kopech at the Rockies tonight. And with sports on the home of the Bears, Rick Greg News Radio 105.9 WBBM. 9.48, traffic. Hey, my clock's off a minute. <laughs> People like Lars Larson go to Hitler Burger. Right, thank you. 40. Oh boy. 48 minutes after the hour. WCPT, Willow Springs, show. Illinois. Can we just. Can this thing just get lost? <laughs> Actually, I'm okay, you want, you want me to lose this fame. episode of the Stephanie Miller Show? I already had to do that with you. See where it stops. So register and go. learn more. Visit whitesocks.com slash run today. Hey, at HawkAuto.com, they've got cars, they've got trucks, vans, SUVs, and you can choose from new... 1,000 of the MVP Chicago. So just local stations. Nissan and Wagoneer models and a huge selection of pre-owned... I, jak to policja Whole Life, również wzrost wartości gotówkowej i, co ważne, wypłatę dla beneficjentów bez podatku. Minimalna suma tego ubezpieczenia, którą należy wykupić, to jest 5 tysięcy dolarów, a konto takie można otworzyć do 60... A, 1030 WNBR, Vernon Hills, Illinois. So we can pick up a faint station. This is WLIP, Kenosha, Wisconsin, 1050. If you're looking for Kerastan Carpet, Mitchell is Kenosha's exclusive Kerastan Carpet, so... I don't think we're going to pick up Madison, though. Let's try Madison here. There's Madison, WTSO on 1070. I'm curious, a passive loop here. We're almost at the end of the video. Let's see if it does anything for this radio. That was an airplane dive bombing. Cool. Okay, so that does help. Okay, passive loop is helping on those faint stations. Cool. All right. 1080, barely picking it up. WNWI, Oklahoma, Illinois. We're almost through. We'll just see what it finds. alone and say, God, I don't know that I know very much about praying, but I'm going to start where you told me to start. And I'm going to follow along the prayer journey. 1160 WYLL, Hope for Your Life, Christian Radio. To remember the things you told us to pray about. I promise you that as you pray, you will learn how to pray. Here, squirrel. I can't hear it. No squirrel. Darn.
And that is it. Okay. The next success story. Coming up next, it's me, Dennis Prager, right after Mike Gallagher this morning. All right, so you get the idea. It's pretty simple. Um, it gets, like I said, your locals, uh, maybe a couple semi-local stations. Um, if you press and hold, the power button, of course, goes in your sleep function. And you keep tapping it, I believe, and you can go down 90, 80, 70. So it's kind of 10 minute increments for your sleep timer. Down to five, hit it again, turns it off. So there's that. Pretty basic. Cool setup. So there it is, the Prunus, the updated Prunus J125 um, with the telescopic antenna, which I mentioned uh, the original should have, and a lot of you guys wanted the original to have that as well. They incorporated it. They added more presets. I believe the old one only had 40. 20 per. This says 30 per. That's nice. So an additional uh, 20 presets. Uh, that's handy, right? Um, I'm not sure about this lockout, but uh, yeah, overall, I'm pretty impressed for the price. For 12 bucks, get it. <laughs> if it's 15 bucks, get it. If it's 20 dollars, think about it because at 20 bucks, you might find another pocket radio out there that's digital that you might like. Like I think the Vondor has one, which is really nice. And uh, wow, there's like an airplane. Just dive bomb in my house. <laughs> it's hilarious. They must know I'm making a video. Um, I don't know if you guys can pick that up. Hopefully the mic did. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so definitely worth the pickup under 15 bucks. Rock on. Um, if you like Prunus Radios and want to see more, hit subscribe at the bell icon, get notified. And three, comment below what you think about the updated Prunus J125. It's something you'd like. Got alarm, clock, FM stereo. Liking that. All the features on a radio, slim design. Yeah, that's my, my opinion. Alrighty. There it is. We're finished. You guys take care, and we'll see you in my next video.